Hello everyone, I'm your host Aquaman, and welcome back to another episode of Turok Dinosaur Hunter. Hey, I said it right this time! Awesome! Today's episode, we are going to fight the first boss of this game, and it is going to be at the end of level 3. But first of all, we have to get up to him. But before we do that... Uh, but, 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 <laughs> many busts in this episode. I need to come up here and kill another Perlin, because... Oh my gosh! Because we need as many lives as possible before we attempt to get to the boss. And the Perlin up here is... Mm -hmm. Guarding a lot of life force triangles. Ooh, I can use all of these. Wow, that's a lot of explosive shells. No, no. I should probably be saving for these for the Perlin, but no. Was there something else there? Oh, yeah, plenty of clips. Eh, maybe I should use the clips. All right, fine. Where are you at? Where are you at? Are you here yet? Uh, that's one. That's two. That's three. Oh boy. And oh, wait a second. I can't actually access all of this until after I get up to where the boss is. Well, you can see in there there's uh, at least three special life force stuff. And. Are you going to come get me or not? I thought there was one more. What? Oh yeah, the beetles respawn in this cave too. Let's not do this anymore. <laughs> so I need to get up to where we are going to head to the boss and then I can unlock that gate. So my bad, I had forgotten something. No. Just no. Go away. Let's start heading up to that boss, and we will come back down and have to go through all of this again to be get back up to him, but... The very nice sound of his death as the music stops while we are underwater to listen to his dying gurgles. Go ahead and hit that wall when we lose our momentum. Wonderful. So glad that you died. Uh, now, there shouldn't be too much more left. Hopefully. Uh, nope. 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 Uh, can we pick up another grenade? Yeah, we can, actually. Okay, so here's where they are getting you ready to practice for the boss. And this is an example of why you want to use your map very often in this game. Because if you fall down, you got to go through this all over again. But how about instead we just cheat? Because as I have told you many times over, I am terrible in platforming, and I need all the friggin' help I can get. This game took out the platforming ability... Uh, what is it? The platforming ability confidence of many children back in the day. Well, I shouldn't say children, because I'm sure many parents if they were aware of the ESRB rating system, would not have uh, bought this for their child. I don't think that uh, my mom was exactly oop, happy about me getting this one either. I don't know why I bounced over like that. But hey, I paid for it with my own money, and it was something I was looking forward to, and somehow I got away with it. Also, I think that we are at maximum health because we picked up three of those things when I ran over four. No. No! Yeah, I'm not picking up any more two health. We are at maximum health. Almost we're not after that. Ooh, armor. Yeah, we are making amazing progress here. No, no, no. I should not have stood there and taken that. That is mine. And there should be... gonna kill that guy, pick up the arrows, and then head back down. So, this little trigger right here. So we need to activate to get into where those beetles were. Yeah, I had no idea what that thing did for the longest time. It's one of gaming mysteries to me. One of many gaming mysteries. Nope. Actually, we don't need to go. How about no? 
How about no? We don't need to go all the way back up there on foot. We can just take this. Awesome! Alright. Now, I need to save my game before I attempt this. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. Platforming. We need to jump from pillar to pillar. And it is incredibly easy to miss a jump. Whoa, I almost missed that one. If you do not utilize the map and you are able to get across this easily and in one try, you have my eternal respect. Case in point, I just fell down while I was using the map. That actually means I believe too. Yep, we lost all of our armor and health. Alright, so... I would actually like to have that all back, but... Just... Actually, I should turn on my map, turn on my map. Let's try this out. I, I have a failsafe in place. But if I can't do this properly, I have a failsafe that I would like to bring into effect. Oh, no. He got in my way. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? Ah. Oh. All right. I am Torok. You're a dead man, is what you are. All right, let's uh, keep this one active. All right, let's let's give this one more try. This is a little spot that is designed to drain you of all your health immediately. It will suck away your life force and lives. And everything else we've collected. Also, we lost the backpack. I'm not happy about that. You think this would be an ideal place to use your diagonal jump? But it's easy to overshoot as well, so keep that in mind before you try anything. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Never again. So I am picking up a few of these, but I don't think I'm going to get any use out of them, so... Yeah, let's actually move ahead. Now, what they want you to do, and what I'm sure you're going to do, is jump up onto that thing, and the exit to the level, as well as the entrance to the boss, is up there. But, what you have to do... What you really have to do... And oh my gosh, how did I not fall again? What you should be doing is coming down here. Oh shoot. Uh, you can sort of see it, but a couple more jumps. I am Bravo. And we need to get onto that wall there. That's where the chrono scepter piece is. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. I wish I was. No wonder that we kept on missing this thing whenever we played it before. It's crazy! They really threw this thing out of the way. Alright, now then. All the way up at the top. Here you are, Mr. Berlin. Here are some bullets for you. Make use of those. And there's the chronoceptor piece into the portal and now we are at the front of that temple that we just looked at but what we're actually going to do is come around back here I hear I hear blue oh my gosh oh, that's the that's the level exit never mind what we're going to do instead is fall down here get a box of bullets and a few of these things and some arrows and then there's some um, explosive shells I like that and uh, what have we got up there I think that's a blue health and another blue health. Alright, so ideally, if you manage to get this far, you want to take this all the way to the top. How many lives do I have left? Six. Alright, well that's not too bad. I did recover one, it looks like. But I don't... I don't really like this. I had so many lives left over, so... You might think I'm crazy, but here's what I'm going to do. Can I land on anything? No, I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to kill myself. Trust me on this. Alright. Skip by that. Let's say yes. 
Uh, no, actually. No, so I can't do it from here. So what we have to do, and yes, I'm seriously going to do this because I had so much stuff left over. I don't recommend doing this most of the time, but you know what? I'm, I can't do it this way. I, I really can't. I lost too much stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. Pardon me as I look over at my computer here for just a moment, because I, I wasn't planning to do this. I had forgotten that I could actually lose as much as I did lose. So, give me just a moment. Okay, I've got it. Yeah, I am <laughs> i wouldn't recommend this normally for your first time playing through, but we're going to use a cheat to get up there. So, pardon me as I sort of break the game briefly for this. This is a cheat that I think many people who found out used it to get past to get by this little area. So, cheat menu, we're going to turn fly mode on. And skip our way throughout all of this stuff, because I want to keep everything that I've got on me. And after getting here, or actually, no, that, that might be a little bit risky. Let's uh, go over here. All right. Maybe about right here. Yeah, okay. And now, we'll turn fly mode off. Okay, this was hopefully the only time I'm ever going to do this. I don't recall any other point in the game where I would want to do, darn it, something like this. But in this instance, I think it is well justified. Um... Anytime, dude. Okay, just... <laughs> Mine were better. Neither one of us could blow up a rock, but I was able to kill him faster. Alright. So, I promise... Sort of. I really hope I can promise this. That I won't do that ever again. But that is, in my opinion, one of the hardest parts of this game. Harder than most of the bosses is just that little bit. <sighs> do not approve. Do not approve. This also means that we lo we lose out on a lot of purple life force, but... Nah. We got seven lives now instead of six. And I'm sure with that we're able to get as many as we want later on, so... Whatever. Moving along. Let's head up here and face this final boss. Well, or the final enemy of this level, which happens to be a boss enemy and is not actually the final boss of the game. He's just a boss, but he's the final enemy in this level, so okay. Now, if you had already gotten... I'll turn the map off. If you had already gotten the key in this area, then that portal would have taken you straight to the hub world, but we're going to fight ourselves a boss. And before we do that, we need to go down into these areas and grab up a bit more stuff if we can use it. Shotgun shells regular. I don't see us using all that much. Not when you have explosive shells. And the game is nice to you in the fact that it gives you regener regenerating ammunition. So if we are low on anything, we can use our ammunition regeneration stuff that they give us for free. Ooh, armor. I like that too. And, get, and be fully loaded up on everything except maybe one bullet when we eventually finish off the boss, which I think is very fun to exploit. I don't know if I'll do that, maybe if I'm really low on some key weapons, but... The strategy for most bosses in this game is to equip the auto shotgun, run and do a circle strafe around them, and blast away until their health is gone. Man, I can barely see your face, dude. But before we take out the boss, we need to take out his trucks. Just stand in the center of this truck and go ahead and shoot away at it. Okay, let's just, uh, whoop. Just don't get too cocky because these things don't turn in a full circle. Da -da 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 Am I even hurting you anymore? I don't think so. All right. So regular shotgun sh shells do not hurt the Jeep. Boom, baby, boom. All right, that's mine. And here comes another Jeep. I think that these Jeeps are also equipped with rocket launchers. Yeah, they are. 
And a machine gun, although I don't know if I've ever been hit by the machine gun. I actually didn't take any damage from that at all. <laughs> In fact, I wonder if the ammo, ammo regenerates even after you've killed the boss. Because you don't leave this area until you pick up the key, so I don't know. Yeah, the jeeps are not that big a deal. He's only got two jeeps, though, so after we take out the second one, we can face him. Also, if I wasn't wearing a backpack, I would have run out of ammunition a little bit ago. So, the jeeps aren't that big a threat, unless all you have are regular shotgun shells, apparently. Okay, no more going to spawn in. So, he's got three attacks. He's got that boomerang. He will also kick us, and at medium to long range, he will shoot his pulse rifle at us. And I recall the Pulse Rifle is doing the most damage, but I don't know for sure because I have forgotten a great many things about this game. So ammo is going to regenerate in these little spots. You'll notice that I'm just running around and picking up a little bit of extras because I'm kind of low on regular bullets. And this is why you have to circle strafe as well. He can't hit me while I'm moving around. The hardest part of this boss... Oh, you got me. Good for you. The hardest part of this boss is that he... Uh, I just blanked out. He's difficult to hit. That's what I was trying to say. He's difficult to hit with a weapon unless you just stand still and let him kick you as much as he wants to. Okay, so, uh, no, 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 stop doing that. Okay, fine, I'll grab this as well. Now then, let's, uh, bump and no. Come on, hit him to rock. How about... Do -do. Oh my gosh, I'm not... Where'd he go? There you are. Right, so... Out of armor now. <laughs> How about instead I switch to this thing? It seems like it would be much more reliable. I still can't hit him. Probably has something to do with the fact that I can barely see him. Okay, come on now. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's taking me down by 100 health already. Oh my gosh. Come on, turn faster. Did he really not hit me there? Okay, his, his returning boomerang explosion got me, but... Oop. No, sir. I guess the bosses might be a little bit boring to watch, so I do apologize for that, but... On the other hand, maybe... It's a little bit intense because you never know when one of us is going to make a mistake. I've lost a lot more health than he has, though. Okay. Dude. It's actually a very good thing that I decided to use cheese before I came in here, or I would have died twice by now. Also, I would have a heck of a lot less ammo. I like the backpack. Just throwing it out there. Nope. No, no, oh my gosh, right into a wall, right into a wall, okay. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a, uh... Nope, no, no, no. Slight bit of ammo regeneration here. That is mine, thank you. Come on, give me a box of bullets or some explosive... There we go. Boop, boop, boop. No, no. Oh man, I don't have much health left. And if he kills me, I'm going to lose my backpack as well. And that's not something I can cheat back. You can use cheats to give yourself all ammo and all equipment and all the everything, but you don't get a backpack whenever you use cheats. And I guess if you've got infinite ammo on, then you don't really need cheats anyway, but... Come on, die already. I'm almost dead, he's almost dead. Place your bets now on who's gonna die first. If I'm not uber careful, it's gonna be me, it's gonna be me, it's gonna be me. Yep, there we go. Okay. Well, barring the uh, reload spot, that's the first actual life I've lost. I am not going to count the fact that I fell off a cliff and lost, what was it, like 45 points of armor and maximum I health. Yeah, that's not a... that doesn't count as a death, in my opinion. So this is my first death in the game. Uh, let's get... One more thing. What? 
But I'm ugh, not gonna die again. Assume I can hit the guy. I can't even see where. Oh my word! I can't even see where most of my shots are landing. I've got auto aim on and everything. Come on now. Oh, he still had a boomerang floating around. No sir, no sir, no sir, no sir. Okay, he got me. Stop that. Oh boy. I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. Yeah, he's taking me down by over half my health currently. I would love to use the automatic shotgun for this guy. But I couldn't hit him before. I think that the assault rifle is the way to go. <sighs> Finally got him. That took way too long. He does his pose. Yeah, because we totally use a knife to take care of this guy. Alright, let's grab his pulse rifle. Amen. And this is going to be using those uh, green energy cells that we've been picking up from the other pulse rifle guys who were shooting red at us. Okay, so the ammo doesn't regenerate. And that's what that thing looks like. So, an actual rifle this time, not a stupid assault rifle. Okay, the ass assault rifle's not all that stupid, but... Woo! Final key in that area. Let me just double check so I have uh, closure. Yep, we've got all the keys and all the chronoceptor pieces up to this point. Where is my save spot? Where is my save spot? Uh, nope. It should be over here then, right? Where are you at? There you are. Ah, sweet save spot. Okay, so that is going to be the end of this episode. Next level, we are going to go through level 4. Where is level 4? Let's see, that's 3, there's 2, so it should be this one, right? Level 4, the ruins. This is one of my favorite levels, at least from what I can remember. I don't remember the last levels all that much. There are some enemies that I love, which are not going to be in level 4, but level 4 feels good. I like the way it feels. It's very non-linear, I should say. Actually, I won't say anything more than that because I'll let you guys see it next episode. Thank you for joining me for today's episode, everybody. Uh, we took a lot of damage, but we can pull through. We can pull through. We have many lives left over. Come back next time, everyone, and we will go to level four, the ruins. Love that level. See you then. Take care. All right, now we've got a new enemy. Where are you at? There you are. A Dimitrodon, I believe this is called.